Mm. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back to the fourth episode of Club O Online Concerts, affectionately referred to as the Nooner Sessions because it's noon on the West Coast of the United States, and it's 9 o'clock here in Unterweiler, Germany. So it would be the Niner, right? The Niner? Kind of afternoon. The afternoon. The, the, the after afternoon. Way after afternoon. So thank you all for joining in. Um, we know we have people from the west coast of the United States, so in San Francisco, in Seattle, in Oregon, um, and across the country, in Oklahoma, in Florida, and New York, down in Mexico, in uh, Germany, um, in France, and of course, in the country of Georgia. We want to welcome everybody to our show tonight. So Edgar and I um, and uh, the rest of the band, Jamie Nugent on clarinet and Christoph Behrens on bass, we talked about what we wanted to play this week for you. We do have a guest for you today. And I, I spoiler, it's not Thelonious Monk. Don't give it away. No, I'm not going to give it away. Um, but we thought we would delve into a little Brazilian music. And uh, specifically, uh, we'll do a couple of bossa nova tunes for you to warm up for our special guest. And uh, just a little history of bossa nova, if I may, Maestro. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the reason bossa nova came into being, is be and it's, it's played very, very low, is because bossa nova started actually in Ipanema in, in public housing. And the walls were so thin that the neighbors would bang on the walls when you know people were playing it so that it got softer and softer and softer. And of course the maestro of Bossa Nova um, is Antonio Carlos Jobim. In fact, one of the songs that he wrote, the most famous song, recorded I believe in 1963 or 58 was um, The Girl from Ipanema, which was recorded 240 times. Well, we're not going to play that for you tonight. A uh, short version in German. Um, das, Thema heute, das Thema für heute ist uh, Brasilien, Bossa Nova. Uh, die kurze Geschichte von Bossa Nova, wie das Ganze entstanden ist, dass es eigentlich in Hotelzimmern oder kleinen Räumen entstanden ist, wo Musiker miteinander gespielt haben und da die Zeit etwas fortgeschritten war, auch etwas leiser sein mussten. So kam irgendwie diese Idee von wirklich relaxter, leiser Musik im Gegensatz zu der damals ziemlich weit verbreiteten Big Band Musik, die sicher in einem kleineren Zimmer nicht spielbar ist. Der wesentliche, der, der wichtigste, einer der wichtigsten Komponisten, Shobim, ist sehr bekannt geworden mit dem Stück A Girl from Ipanema. Um, ein Mädchen, das er am Strand auf und ab gehen hat, sehen, wie er als armer Bub in Ipanema saß, so war vielleicht 17, 18. Angeblich hat man das Mädchen sogar inzwischen gefunden. Um, so, I do want to remind you that although this concert is free, we do it because we love it and uh, we love the music and we love to play for you and we want to have a little respite in our lives from um, the, the chaos and uh, the sickness that is surrounding us. Um, there are many, 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 many other artists that are out there that are performing live concerts, some for as little as only a small $5 or five euro donation. So I do encourage you to please tune in, support not just live music, um, but the, the, the art that's going on around the country and around the world as well. So without further ado, Das erste Stück, das wir spielen wollen, heißt So dann zu Samba äh, und ist von Jobim. Ähm, es ist, äh, sonst hat Jobim eigentlich fast nur Bosas geschrieben. Das war einer seiner Stücke, wo er ein Samba geschrieben hat. Also etwas flotter, ein mehr, weniger das laidback konzept das die Bosas haben, sondern eher was zum Tanzen, etwas Fetzigeres. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Um. I say. <laughs> 
Jetzt haben wir sogar das Ende geschafft. Da haben wir heute eine Weile dran gebastelt. We even got the ending right. We even got the ending right. This so, was Sodanza Samba from Jubin. So, Sodanza Samba, I just want a, a shout out. Uh, Julie, I'm still using your chart. Thank you very much. So, appreciate that. Thunderous applause. Thank you, everybody, that's dialing in to us. We are the Meze Music Project. We're recording live from Unterweiler. Um, Germany, in case you didn't know where Unterweiler was. And uh, on guitar, we have Edgar Hamerl. On bass, we have Christoph Behrens. My name is Stella. Some of you know me as Ivy. And uh, we are now going to feature not just our cameraman and uh, one of our sound engineers, but our clarinet player. We're gonna do another Antonio's Carlos Jobim for you. So everybody get out your yoga mats, light a candle, drink some coffee or whatever. And we're gonna do the song called Meditation. As soon as we set this up. 11 o'clock. Nice and quiet. Das nächste Stück ist jetzt wirklich ein ruhiger Bossa, auch von Jobim, und der Name ist Meditation. Und diesmal 
äh, featuren wir unseren Klarinettenspieler und er ist auch für die Technik und für das ganze Video zuständig, Jamie. That was awesome. Um, so, so Brazil. Uh, there's a lot of history, a lot of great music that comes out of Brazil. And one of the most amazing music, and often little heard music, is called choro music. And choro is actually, and I please, if there's any Brazilian speakers out there, um, Portuguese speakers, I, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. But it means, it literally means to cry. Uh, or lament, kind of like, you know, when we say musicians are going to wail, right? So in choral music is is uh, the cry, and uh, traditionally it's played after the gig, 
after um, all the musicians will come and hang out at someone's house, and uh, they will sit around in a circle, and they will play choral music. So we are going to feature our guest artist, who is Annette Rembald, and she'll be playing flute. A little bit about Annette, she started playing five years ago, and uh, we're so grateful that she didn't give up and that she kept playing, because we're fortunate to have her as a housemate, and uh, she lives with us, so it wasn't Thelonious Monk, but we have the next best thing. We have Annette Rembold, and I'm going to let her tell you about the choral piece that she's going to play. Ivy has got a choral erklärt and the tradition dazu. Was vielleicht hier ist, dass Musiker nach den Gigs zusammenkamen und nachts noch für sich selbst Musik gespielt haben, und daraus ist a choral entstanden. Okay. Wir spielen Pasoka von Celso Machado. Er ist Brasilianer, lebt jetzt in Kanada und ist ein Gitarrist und Komponist. Und das Stück ist ein bisschen lebendiger wieder. Um, we are playing a piece by Celso Machado, who is from Brazil, now lives in British Columbia, and he's a guitar player, an amazing guitar player, and a composer. The name of the piece is Pasoka. It's so nice 
it's so nice when we can feature a guest artist. Um, and so thank you, Annette. That was really lovely. And I got to sit back here and watch you play. It was really great. Edgar Hammerl on guitar. Annette Rembold on flute. Christoph over there in the corner on bass. And Jamie Nugent on clarinet. And finally, I think my mic is on. Ivy Stella on okay. piano, and she is our big entertainer, and she's the one who keeps the song together with the stories and keeps us all going. And she's the one who spends most time on Facebook. That's actually the most important part here in this whole thing. Yeah. So we want to, again, um, thank Shane for coming, and uh, merci beaucoup, and uh, muchas gracias. Uh, und vielen Paris. Dank an alle deutsche Freunde und Zuhörer in Freiburg und ich weiß nicht wo. Vielleicht noch ein paar. So we're going to hang up now and uh, yeah, have a drink. And we uh, have a lot of comments. We can get back to your comments. Many thanks, but we're going to have a drink now on you, for you, without you. <laughs> but that's online. That's the advantage of online. The club, the club is open. To musicians only. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, tschüss. tschüss, tschüss.